welcome to a new video. So today I thought I'd share the process of me drawing a little Halloween witch. And I think this is particularly interesting because I did a Halloween witch last year. So you can find that on my YouTube channel. And last year I did the complete illustration in Procreate. And I used a reference photo which was at least, it's, it's, I think it's a girl holding a volleyball. And everything was quite similar to um, what I did in the end, except that she was uh, not holding a volleyball, but a, um, but a pumpkin. And so, um, yes, this year um, it's actually quite different. So I started out and drew the witch with a pencil, as I do nowadays. So I've completely um, quit drawing any line work in Procreate um, simply because I don't enjoy it that much and I think the look of the pencil drawing is much nicer if it's done with real pencil on real paper. And yes, so that's what I did here. Um, what's also new, I started keeping a sketchbook and um, Oh, I forgot to mention something else. Yes, this time I used a reference photo as well. Um, but I think that was very interesting to me. Um, if you look at the reference photo, it virtually has nothing to do with the uh, final illustration. I think the part where I referenced the illustration, uh, the, the reference photo the most, was when I drew her boots. But I think you can really tell the rest is really completely diff different and um, the reference photo this time just was something like to hold on to like just to have a the feeling of security I'd say I don't know if you remember that but as a kid I did some I can't think of the word in English right now but we had Turnstang so these um things on the playgrounds where you could do, I, I just have to um, fill in the word later on. But anyways, I tried to let myself fall backwards on these things and um, I remember being so afraid and that it helped just to have somebody hold just one finger to my back and at that moment, even though the person couldn't have done anything to kind of prevent me falling. Um, just this finger on my back helped me to feel secure and then just let me uh, do the back flip or whatever I tried to do there. And yes, that was the same here. Um, like I had this reference photo open, I think, for m most of the pencil drawing. But um, yes, I didn't really reference it a lot. Um, it was just a starting point. Yes, um, so um, this illustration is actually part of a bigger illustration that will be a poster for our Halloween party. So ever since our neighbors moved in, um, we did a Halloween party together every year and every year I created the flyer and it's really fun for me to see. I remember the first year I did it in Procreate, I just used a bunch of stamps. I think I had an orange background and used a couple of stamps, stamps and was already so proud that I could manage working the program. And um, then year after year, I tried to get better at it and tried to do my own illustrations. And so this year I thought I wanted to um, do illustrations of all of our kids. So um, my neighbor has three children, a little boy um, who will be a bad boy and um, a little, uh, another little boy who's not that little anymore, but I think he's in fourth grade now. And he is um, kind of the guy with the, um, what's the word for that? Like the death has that sensor. I have to look that up. And uh, then her girl is the, the little witch and uh, my boy is a little dragon or no, not a dragon. Sorry. Oh, he would have killed me for that. He's a little T-Rex boy um, because he loves, absolutely loves dinosaurs. And um, yeah, then my stepson is a, um, he just wants to, he's, he's older now and he just says he wants to wear a mask that's illuminated. So he's the one with a yellow pullover. 
And then I also have um, another little neighbor boy and he's the little pumpkin and he actually wore that kind of costume last year and it was so adorably, adorably cute that I just had to drew him with this pumpkin, pumpkin costume. Yes, yeah, so um, I think the longest part on this illustration was actually the pencil drawing and that's what I do nowadays. I invest a lot of time in my pencil drawings and it's really the base for me. Um, so if I'm not happy with the pencil drawing, I know that I won't be able to um, kind of make that up with color. And um, I also feel at least nowadays that color really is more an addition than the main part. So it's like 25% and the drawing and the line work and the texture is like at least 75% for me that makes up my process and uh, my illustration. So yes, as you can see, I'm going back and forth. <laughs> I've tried to uh, be a bit more organized with me drawing something like, you know, finishing the texture pattern in the head before going on to, I don't know, the broom or something else. But I, I just can't do it. Like if I get bored with the texture on the hat, then I will move to the hair and then I will jump from the hair to the broom and so on. So I've just come to accept that that seems to be the way my brain is working. And yes, what I always try to um, achieve is um, to have depth or you know, contrast in the illustration. Um, I start out with a B or HB pencil and then later on I move to a 5B or even 8B pencil and that will produce a much darker line. So this time I also did some watercolor and um, it was just because I wanted to take out my watercolor box and I just enjoy using it so much. In the end I was not that happy with the look of it so I think I would have liked the illustration much better if it were just, if it would have been just um, um, digital colors. But um, yes, that's what I did here. And I feel that this color, this black you can see here is a really beautiful watercolor. It's a granulating color and that means it has a lot of inbuilt texture. And um, yes, I've mainly been using these granulating watercolors over the last couple of months. So most of the colors you can see in this little box are actually granulating watercolors. The ones by Horadam, um, Schmieke Horadam, that's a German brand, and I think they look really lovely. Yes, so I also colored her face, and I think I will be coloring her legs and the inside of this coat as well. Um, the color I'm using here is Potter's Pink, which is actually more like kind of a violet. Oh, and here you can also already see me um, um, editing the illustration in Procreate. So um, everything you see now is obviously done digitally in Procreate. And I've recently released a Skillshare class on digitally coloring your pencil drawings in Procreate, where I really go into depth um, concerning my current process on how to digitize the line work and how to add the color, obviously, but also change the color of the color of the line work and use shadows and highlights and so on. Um, so if you're interested, you can check that out. I will link it down in the description below. And if you follow the link, you get one month free of Skillshare and not just my class, but also uh, all the other wonderful classes there on Skillshare. Yes, yeah, so at this point, I'm already very close to being finished with the little witch. Um, I'm 
can't really tell what I'm doing here. I think I might be adding some um, some highlights there maybe or I might be erasing something. So later on I will make her hair pink and much later on, ah oh, there it is, I will also darken the color of the coat and yes here I'm adding some shadows and so in a minute I will be adding some highlights and then I'm nearly done with my little witch illustration. Yes, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this little process video and if you like what you see, you can follow me on Skillshare and YouTube for art and illustration tutorials and I hope to see you soon. Bye!